Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to add this beautiful iNav telemetry screen to the Jumper T16 remote controller. So first of all, what you need to do is to head over to the Lure telemetry section under iNav Flight GitHub page. At the moment of shooting this video, the latest version, which is version 1.6.1, .1, is not fully compatible with the Jumper T16 remote controller, so I recommend that you shouldn't download it. So just head over to the previous version, which is version 1.6.0, download the Lua Telemetry zip file, unzip it, and inside you're gonna find two directories. One is named scripts, and the other one is named widgets. Then turn on the Jumper T16 remote controller. Welcome to Jumper TX. Connect it to your computer using the provided mini USB cable. By default, the remote controller is going to prompt you whether to use the remote controller as a USB joystick for controlling flight simulators or to set it up to USB storage mode, which will allow you to access the micro SD card. Select USB storage. Then the computer is going to recognize two new devices. One is named T16 and by default, the other one is going to be named no name. And inside you can find the contents of the micro SD card. Then what you need to do is to enter the widgets directory on the micro SD card. And from the widgets directory on the low telemetry directory that you just downloaded, copy the iNav directory. I've already done it. And the second thing you need to do is to copy the telemetry directory from the scripts directory on the Lua telemetry folder to the micro SD card. So just head over to scripts and copy the telemetry directory to the script directory on the micro SD card. Then you can eject the no name and the T16 drives. Turn off the remote controller, turn it on, then long press the telemetry button, uncheck the top bar and slider plus streams checkbox because you need the widget to run on a full screen. Hit return, press setup widgets, Long press the scroller button and select select widget. And then you can discover the iNav telemetry page. Then just press the scroll button, hit return. And as you can see, now it's displayed on the screen. In addition, you can also run the script manually by long pressing the system button. Head over to the SD card contents. Select scripts. Telemetry and then you can just manually run the iNav Lua script by long pressing the scroller button and hit execute. The version 1.6.1 can work if you're gonna use this method, but I'm not sure why it's not supported via the telemetry screens. So if you're going to use the latest version, you're going to see disabled on your screen and I'm going to report the issue to Jumper and hopefully they'll be able to figure it out. Now, of course, in order to get the iNav telemetry data from a flight controller, you have to flash it with iNav firmware and you have to enable telemetry. So I've already flashed this flight controller from HackerC with the latest iNav firmware and we can connect to it. And you can see that under ports, the smart port telemetry is enabled. And in case you're using an FLSky RTSA receiver and you're having issues with getting the telemetry data, you might have to use the uninverted S-Port pad, which is located over here. In addition, in order to make sure that you're gonna get the telemetry, you have to head over to the configuration page and make sure that telemetry output option is enabled. Then in order to get all the new telemetry data on your remote controller, you have to head over to the model menu by long pressing the model button, head over to the telemetry page, select discover new sensors, and then all the new telemetry data is going to appear. So I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial and you find it useful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell if you're not already subscribed. See you in my next videos and goodbye.